Hello, my name is Dan Prather, and my company's name is Dual Draw. Today we're going to take a look at the BG3048 downdraft table, which is what you see here. <coughs> 30 inches deep by 48 inches wide. Pulls air down through the table surface as well as through the vented backstop. This particular unit has been configured to handle fumes. So it's a one horse motor. Uh, it's got a motor and fan in the base here. And then there's a set of filters right here. We take a look at this and the filters. You'll see that we've got a, a <coughs> double carbon filter here, a pre filter, and then a final filter, which is meant for the particulate, dust particulate. We also have the dust pan right there. That slides out, easily removed and, and easily to, to discard the dust that gathers in that. We have the front switch here. Um, this can also be located on the side. And then if we come around the back, come around the side here, we've got a motor cover, which gains you access to the motor. Again, it's a one horse motor. Um, coming around the back here, you can also show the exhaust vent here. Um, and now we'll go to the front and we'll do a little demonstration. So again, BG3048, 48 inches wide, is roughly half the size of a BG3096, which is currently the unit of interest by the customer. So we're going to turn the unit on here. Now the unit, the unit is on. We kind of come in here. You see, this is my business card here. We'll put this against the back. That uh, shows you a little bit about the velocity. I'll turn the unit off. You see that that card falls down and got caught there on the sticker. But uh, again, uh, showing the velocity here. You can see that it pulls through the back there. We also have a, some, basically some wind gauge here that will demonstrate a little bit of the dust. You can see that I'm pumping that. I'm actually pumping it out. And it's getting pulled back in. Um, so you see, you're working down here close to the, the work surface what that's going to do. So now this is the cell that was sent to us by the customer. We're going to unfold this cell on the tabletop as the customer would. Get back out a little bit. We'll see how this goes here. And you have a, uh, you have a, uh, you're down here and you're working close to the cell, you can see that obviously the dust is being pulled in. Okay, so that gives you a sense there. We're also going to take some velocity. First we're going to do the slot velocity. We always measure slot velocity right at the slot here. And this is in the tabletop. And this, this slot velocity on this unit um, is going to range right at the 450. So if you please get that reading, there we go. Um, this shows you a little bit what the slot velocity is of the reading. And then we're going to do capture velocity. Capture velocity is taken just a little bit off the table surface where the actually operator is going to be performing the work. And you'll see that that's in the basically like the 150, 125 to 150 range. Again, this is a low velocity emission. You don't need that much airflow to capture a low velocity emission per industrial hygiene standards. Um, then we're also going to do a, just a quick measurement up by roughly by the, the operator's breathing zone. And you can see here <clears throat> that you're getting, you're still getting nice airflow um, in the 70s to 80s uh, in terms of the, uh, the feet per minute there by the operator's face. And again, you know, seeing, seeing the dust up by the face, it's going to get pulled in, pulled right down into the, into the uh, downdraft or the backdraft, which makes it a much more efficient capture.